Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I will be going over a Danfoss Series 45 pump settings. When starting the engine, let the truck idle. Maintain a safe distance from the truck's mechanical components. Be mindful that the truck implements may be moving. On a Danfoss Series 45 pump, there are two different pressure settings that need to be adjusted to optimize the pump's performance. The major adjustment, most commonly known as the pressure compensator, sets the high-end pressure to make sure the system is protected at maximum pressure. The load sense margin spool, found adjacent to the pressure compensator spool, sets the standby or margin pressure. Load sense pressure is the margin pressure that we observe on the gauge without moving any implements. This pressure is always present on our system pressure gauge. Our load requirement is the pressure that is required to move an implement. Our pump will then supply a total sum of the two pressures, which can be observed on the gauge. First, locate the Danfoss pump on the truck. Then, locate the pump control. This will contain the pressure compensator and the load sensing spools. The load sense adjustment is right on top of the pressure compensator adjustment. You can confirm this by confirming the location of the load sense hose port. Now if we look at the side of the pump control, we will find a couple of set screws. One for the pressure compensator adjustment and the other for the load sense adjustment. First, we will adjust our load sense setting. Make sure that no hydraulic function is being actuated during this process. Turn a 4mm hex key counterclockwise to loosen the set screw. You should then be able to freely turn the pressure adjustment screw using a 6mm hex key. Using the gauge at the valve inlet manifold, adjust the load sense setting. Turn the screw clockwise to increase the load sense pressure. Turn counterclockwise to decrease the load sense pressure. We recommend setting this to between 250 and 400 psi. Consult the factory if other pressures are desired. Tighten the set screw when the desired pressure is reached. To adjust the pressure compensator setting, we need to first deadhead a function on the truck. If using an actual cylinder instead of deadheading into a quick disconnect, ensure that the chosen function does not have any relief valves or other pressure regulating systems. We recommend deadheading a plow function. Repeat the same process that we did for the load sense adjustment, except this time we are loosening the compensator set screws and we are adjusting the compensator pressure setting screw. Use the gauge on the valve inlet manifold to set your desired pressure setting. Tighten the set screws when the desired pressure is reached. This completes pressure adjustments on a Danfoss Series 45 pump. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.